Fellow auto detailers, welcome to the show that features interviews with today's most successful auto detailers. This is the Auto Detailing Podcast. Here's your host, Jimbo Balaam. Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Auto Detailing Podcast. I'm Jimbo, your host, and thanks for checking out this episode. This episode is brought to you by autofiber.com, autofiber.com. CA and autofiber.com.au. So whether you're in Canada, the US or Australia, you can check out all the goodies that Autofiber has to offer if you go to those websites. Also brought to you by the detailer innercircle.com. You know, I get asked a lot, how where do I start in my detailing business? How do I grow it? How do I get clients? All all these things, right? Or how do I how do I build an asset that one day I can sell my business as an asset, not just the equipment that I use. And we have tons of modules. We have ongoing Q&A calls, marketing tips. We stay abreast with the latest and greatest in the marketing space. And I partnered up with a buddy of mine named Pete, who's a marketing expert. I tailor everything towards the detailers and kind of have the detailing side of everything handled. But if you're even remotely interested in any of the things I just said, I encourage you to check out detailerinnercircle.com. <laughs> What's up, everyone? And welcome back to this episode of the Auto Detailing Podcast. Today is another detailing horror story. And I feel like those of you that live out in the country or live in the Midwest, you are going to resonate with this story. Or if you live in Amish country, you may even resonate it with, with it more. Uh, anyway, if you have a detailing horror story, and if you listen to this episode, you will realize what a detailing horror story is. I would love to feature your detailing horror story on the podcast. So you could send it to Jimbo at uh, autodetailingpodcast.com. That's Jimbo at autodetailingpodcast.com. In the subject line, just write detailing horror story and make sure you leave your name and all that good stuff and I will make sure to play it. So this one comes from Joe Conley again, uh, a past guest. Um, and the detailing horror story was actually his idea. So thanks Joe for that. Um, and he's had another one. So if you have a detailing horror story, Jimbo at autodetailingpodcast.com. Anyway, this is what Joe says. And I feel bad for Joe because he seems like he has a ton of these. So it seems like his, his whole detailing thing is like a horror story. But anyway, Joe says, I get a call from a customer who told me upfront it was going to be nasty which side note is usually a good thing. If the customer says it's nasty, it's usually not that bad. It's it's usually when they say it's not that bad that it's nasty. Anyway, back to the story. The owner of a horse and horse trailer picked up a pile of horse manure and chucked it into an open second row window of the family's Honda Odyssey when they were at a local park for a family reunion. The poop thrower got pissed off because she felt the van was parked too close to the horse trailer. I imagine it was like the Amish version of a drive-by, but instead of gangbangers spraying bullets, it was a rage-filled horse lady with a handful of horse feces. Side note again for me. Did she wear gloves? Did she have gloves in her car, probably in the horse trailer? And why was the window down for the Honda Odyssey? Anyway, back to the story. It was in the window track, all over the carpeting on the back of the driver's seat, all over the passenger seat, even on the controls for the passenger seat near the passenger's front door. So it came in on the driver's side and flung all the way over to the passenger side. That's an incredible throw of poop. Um, It was a lot of fecal matter. I'm not a forensic scientist, but given the various areas that were soiled and the volume of horse manure involved, my best guess is that it was more than one handful. I would assume so. That that seems like quite a lot, but if you've ever seen a horse poop, a pile is a lot also. Think about that for a second. This lady picked up not only one, but multiple handfuls of horse crap and tossed them inside of someone else's minivan. Who even does something like that, Joe says. Immediately after launching uh, immediately after the launching of the poop, the cops are called and the horse lady is going to be held liable for the detailing bill. Good for you, Joe. The Odyssey's the Odyssey owners had car seats in the second row as they have four kids who were thankfully not in the car at the moment the feces were thrown inside the van. But the family had to drive home and park the van for a week until it can get detailed. What an incredible story. What <laughs> that is truly the definition of a horror story, not only for Joe, but for that family that had to deal with that. 
get their kids home and all that. Again, if you have a detailing horror story, I'd love to hear it and read it on the podcast, jimbo at autodetailingpodcast.com. Just leave detailing horror story in the subject line and I will play it here on the podcast.